Thanos snapped his fingers. Now half the Netflix Marvel Universe is gone. This is how Forbes has opened its coverage of the cancellation of Luke Cage, which comes on the heels of the cancellation of uh, Iron Fist, that both being announced as uh, shows that are coming to an end on Netflix. And I wanted to touch on this because, well, obviously, I mean, I'm into comics, particularly the Marvel stuff, and I was hopeful for these series when they were announced. I was looking forward to them, being a big fan of Daredevil. Uh, loved Daredevil at Netflix and got very excited when they started to branch out and expand their attempt at uh, bringing Marvel heroes to the small screen. Uh, we see Variety is covering this story. A lot of it, this is a, this is kind of a big deal as these things go. And in all the coverage that I've seen, and I'm not saying that I've read it all exhaustively, and also when I claim rightly to be a fan of Marvel comics and heroes and, and, and be into these shows, I don't want to claim to be the diehard, dedicated, research everything fan. And so I have not read every article. I've not uh, absorbed every angle that's being presented on the cancellation announcements and that sort of thing. And, I, and I've not followed the shows as rigorously um, as some may have. And I'm going to explain a little bit of why. But one of the things that I've noticed and and wanted to touch on and, and ask for your thoughts and whatever they are, please share in the comment section of the video. But as a guy who's a big fan of Marvel stuff in general, and I, I love checking out the movies and the TV shows as they come along, and my wife and I are big into Daredevil. We like Daredevil. We've enjoyed The Punisher a lot. But both they're one of the reasons why uh, these cancellations, neither of them really surprised us, is that uh, the, we didn't get into either of these shows, and we tried. We wanted to. We really wanted to. Iron Fist, and I think it's been fairly well chronicled and understood, the Iron Fist show was just so stupid, idiotic, very lame and weak in so many ways. And I think I, I think it was much less of a surprise that Iron Fist got canceled than it was when word broke that Luke Cage was canceled. Um, but both of these shows, my wife and I, we barely made it into Iron Fist. We, we got several episodes into season one, and it was just too dumb to go on with. Just too dumb. And with Luke Cage, whereas initially, from the get-go with Iron Fist, you could tell 15 or 20 minutes in, this could not go well. And then it didn't end up going well from our perspective. Luke Cage, we were very hopeful, and we were loving it early on. It was pretty good, but it was just two or three episodes in where... They had this raging bout of animal pig-like lust and uh, just debauchery, just disgusting behavior by Luke Cage. Just, this is going to be apparently a thing for him in their uh, television show representation of the character. Totally wrecked it for us, and we were just done at that point. And uh, now I'm throwing these things out there. I'm not saying necessarily that this is these things, the stupidity of Iron, Flick, Iron uh, Fist and the... Uh, Sort of the 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 lowness, just the animalness, the the sleaziness of the Luke Cage thing is why these shows failed. I since I stopped watching Luke Cage, I don't know if that continued or not, or was it thematic a uh, part of the character or not. I know that it was bad enough. It came out in such a full force, just disgusting manner early on in the show that we were just done. We, we don't we we <laughs> that was the end for us. And another one of the Netflix Marvel shows. Um, Jessica Jones, literally the opening credits of the first episode, it was like there was material in there where you're like, you know, this we don't need this. We're not. This is a bridge too far for us. And again, I'm just sharing with you what happened for my family, my wife and I, why we stopped watching those three shows very early on. Two out of the three was for just the sleaziness, the general sleaziness. And with Iron Fist, it was just so so thickly idiotic. I mean, so permeated with stupidity and uh so i'm wondering if because uh, there's a lot of speculation of course and fans are disappointed and distraught but i've not seen any anybody really covering or commenting on the fact that the these interpretations of heroes this take on heroes is is not going to sit well with a lot of people who would otherwise be big marvel uh supporting fans like me I don't know how many they are, and again, I'm not saying this is why either of these shows died, but it, it I just thought it'd be worth sort of being on the record and sharing with people, fellow Marvel fans who might check out this video that I'm recording, just to put it in your head that, you know, when you have this, uh, what they like to call adult or edgy or mature, all these words they use to cover oftentimes, just, just sleaziness, just sleazy, guttural, low, trashy behavior, when you decide to go that route, you're not picking up many, if any, fans or viewers or subscribers or whatever, and you're definitely losing them when we're talking about in the context of Marvel superheroes on the screen. 
when in the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, when in the Avengers movies and in the, the last several uh, Marvel flicks, there have been this, these, the increasing and curious language issues. Like, why are they inserting certain language issues that only will drive some people away and won't add a single ticket sold uh, to the bottom line? There's something about, there's just this blindness. I think it's a willful blindness most of the time. Sometimes it's just unconscious. I mean, there's this ignorance uh, to virtue. And, to, and this is ironic because we're talking about superheroes. What is heroic? What is ugly? I'm not here arguing for perfect characters. I'm not here arguing for characters that struggle with deep flaws and problems. That's an important part of good drama. I'm not arguing for that at all. But I do think that there's a fundamental lack of understanding on the part of the SJW NPC types running these shows most of the time. They don't know what good means. They don't know what evil is. They don't, and therefore, they don't even see, probably, that when they have Luke Cage act like an amoral pig, and it's kind of per depicted as a cool thing, when he's, I don't want to elaborate too much on it, but when they do things like that, and this has become very normal now in uh, superhero representations, the DC Universe stuff, you think of Batman, I think it was in Batman versus Superman, um, he just wakes up next to some woman. It's never explained who that is. He clearly just used her for whatever, you know, he'd used her, moved on. And it, she's literally just a prop. This approach to sexuality, uh, among other things, in these films and in these movies is, I believe, a significant part of why they're not doing well and why they're being regarded less and less by a lot of people who otherwise would be buying the tickets, subscribing to the channels, whatever. Uh, so I just want to throw it out there that maybe, just maybe, the sleaze factor in Luke Cage and maybe, just maybe, the stupidity factor in Iron Fist and really the stupidity of these sorts of things in all these shows is what's what's hurting them, the ones that are going down in flames. And uh, Daredevil has managed to overall do quite well. We just started season three and we're enjoying that immensely. And of course, it all has its issues. Again, I'm not looking for perfection necessarily and, and uh, everything I enjoy watching doesn't have to be exactly as I would make it but Daredevil overall is maintaining a high level I think of fan loyalty high viewership because it's not going down these paths this way uh, the writing is much better it, the, the stupid stuff just isn't really in there much if at all and they've not well I don't want to I don't want to chase that rabbit too far. You get the picture. The main thing I just want to sort of ask you as a fellow Marvel fan if you are one, if you're into these movies and these TV shows, why do you think it is that they can't talk about this aspect when it's become such a theme in recent developments for superheroes represented on the big screen and the small screen that they just seem to be looser and looser morally. They're openly promiscuous. And I think that plays a significant role with their inability, uh, in their inability to gain real traction with a huge segment of potential fans. Like I said, I mean, I, I go in wanting to like this stuff, loved the first couple installments of Luke Cage, but what, I'm just not going to put up with that kind of trashiness in a supposed hero. And so, yeah, wanted to get that out there. And I, I just thought it was noteworthy that not only, you know, uh, again, my personal views on this are my own. I don't know how much of an impact these things have had on the cancellation of the shows. But it's curious to me that in all the coverage, all the, all the speculation and discussion as well, what happened here? I'm just not seeing that even touched on. And that's curious to me. So just wanted to throw it out there for your consideration. I hope that... Marvel heroes and all the other superhero types uh, are, you know, they, that they get better and better as they go, as they're represented on big screen, small screen, and anything in between. Just want to see these things do well. Not looking for perfect heroes, but I am looking for heroes who generally are not amoral pigs, you know? Wouldn't that be cool? If you appreciated this video and you want to support what we're doing, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we post a new video, which we're hoping to do regularly on a daily basis from here on out on this subject and related subjects. Thank you very much for your support. Without it, we can't continue to do this.